Lil Wayne Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., born September 27, 1982, known professionally as Lil Wayne, is an American rapper, record executive, and entrepreneur. He is regarded by many contemporaries as one of the most influential hip-hop artists of his generation, and often cited as one of the greatest rappers of all time. His career began in 1995, at the age of 12, when he was signed by rapper Birdman, joining Cash Money Records as the youngest member of the label. From then on, Wayne was the flagship artist of Cash Money Records before ending his association with the company in June 2018. In 1995, Wayne was put in a duo with label mate Berg, at the time known as Lil Doogie, and they recorded an album, True Story, released that year, although Wayne, at the time known as Baby D, only appeared on three tracks. Wayne and Berg soon joined the southern hip-hop group Hot Boys, with Cash Money label mates Juvenile and Turk in 1997. They released their debut album Get It How You Live. In October that year, the Hot Boys became popular following the release of the album Guerrilla Warfare 1999 and the song Bling Bling. Lil Wayne's solo debut album The Block Is Hot 1999 was his solo breakthrough, and he reached higher popularity with his fourth album The Carter 2004 and fifth album The Carter 2 2005, as well as several mixtapes and collaborations throughout 2006 and 2007. He gained more prominence within the music industry with his sixth album The Carter 3 2008, with first week sales of over 1 million copies in the US. The album won the Grammy Award for Best Rap Album and included successful singles Amelie, Got Money, featuring T-Pain, and Lollipop, featuring Static Major, the latter being his first single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100. In February 2010, Wayne released his seventh studio album, Rebirth, which experimented with rap rock and was met with generally negative reviews. A month later in March 2010, Lil Wayne began serving an eight-month jail sentence in New York after being convicted of criminal possession of a weapon stemming from an incident in July 2007. His eighth studio album I Am Not a Human Being 2010 was released during his incarceration, while his 2011 album The Carter IV was released following his release. The Carter IV sold 964,000 copies in its first week in the United States. His 12th studio album The Carter V was released in 2018 after multiple delays. Wayne's 13th album, Funeral, was released in early 2020. 10. Lil Wayne has sold over 120 million records worldwide, including more than 20 million albums and 70 million digital tracks in the United States, making him one of the world's best-selling music artists. He has won 5 Grammy Awards, 11 Bet Awards, four Billboard Music Awards, two MTV Video Music Awards, and eight NAACP Image Awards. On September 27, 2012, he became the first male artist to surpass Elvis Presley with the most entries on the Billboard Hot 100, with 109 songs. Lil Wayne also currently serves as the chief executive officer, CEO, of his own label, Young Money Entertainment. Early Life Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. was born on September 27, 1982, and spent his first few years in the impoverished Hollow Grove neighborhood of New Orleans, Louisiana. His mother, a cook, gave birth to him when she was 19 years old. His parents divorced when he was two and his father permanently abandoned the family. When CBS interviewer Katie Couric asked why he used the name Wayne instead of his given name, Carter explained that, I dropped the T because I'm a junior and my father is living and he's not in my life and he's never been in my life. So I don't want to be Dwayne, I'd rather be Wayne. Asked if his father knew of this, Carter replied, he knows now. Carter has said that he considers deceased stepfather Reginald Rabbit McDonald his real father. Carter has a tattoo dedicated to McDonald. Carter was enrolled in the gifted program at Lafayette Elementary School. He later attended Eleanor McMain Secondary School for two years, where he was an honor student and a member of the drama club, playing the Tin Man in the school's production of The Wiz. After matriculating to Marion Abramson Senior High School, Carter dropped out at age 14 to focus on his musical career. Carter wrote his first rap song at age 8. In the summer of 1991, he met rapper and Cash Money Records co-founder Brian Birdman Williams, who mentored him and encouraged his love of hip-hop. Birdman included Carter on several Cash Money tracks, 
and Carter would often record freestyle raps on Williams' answering machine. In 1994, at age 12, Carter suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the chest that almost ended his life. At the time he said the injury was accidental. Decades later Carter claimed that it was an attempted suicide after he was told by his mother that he would have to end his rap-related associations. Carter credits off-duty police officer Robert Hubler, who he calls Uncle Bob, with saving his life by insisting the dying child be driven immediately to hospital in a police car rather than waiting for an ambulance to become available. Other accounts indicate that several officers played a part in deciding on and implementing that course of action. On July 20, 1997, Rabbit McDonald was kidnapped from a nightclub and shot dead. His body was subsequently thrown out of a car. Career 1997-1999, Career Beginnings and Hot Boys In 1997, Carter joined the Hot Boys along with rappers Juvenile, Berg, and Turk. At age 14, Carter was the youngest member at the time. 1999-2004, The Block Is Hot, Lights Out, and 500 Degrees Carter's debut solo album, The Block Is Hot, was released when he was 17 and featured significant contributions from the Hot Boys. His second album, Lights Out, was released in 2000, and failed to attain the level of success achieved by his debut but was certified gold by Rhea Carter's third album, 500 Degrees, was released in 2002. It followed the format of his previous two, with significant contributions from The Hot Boys and Manny Fresh. 2004 to 2006, The Carter, The Carter 2, and Like Father, Like Son in the summer of 2004, Carter's fourth studio album, The Carter, was released, marking what critics considered advancement in his rapping style and lyrical themes. The Carter 2, the follow-up to the original The Carter album, was released in December 2005, this time without production by longtime Cash Money Records producer Manny Fresh, who had left the label. 2006 to 2007, mixtapes and collaborations Lil Wayne performing at Voodoo Music Experience in 2008 instead of a follow-up solo album, Carter began to reach his audience through a plethora of mixtapes and guest appearances on a variety of pop and hip-hop singles. Despite no album release for two years, Carter appeared in numerous singles as a featured performer, including Gimme That by Chris Brown, Make It Rain by Fat Joe, You by Lloyd, and We Taken Over by DJ Kale, also featuring Aiken, T.I., Rick Ross, Fat Joe, and Birdman, Duffel Bag Boy by Play Is Circle, Sweetest Girl Dollar Bill by Wyclef Jean, also featuring Aiken, and the remix to I'm So Hood by DJ Kale, also featuring T-Pain, Young Jeezy, Lada Chris, Busta Rhymes, Big Boy, Fat Joe, Birdman, and Rick Ross. Vibe magazine ranked a list of 77 of Lil Wayne's songs from 2007 and ranked his verse in DJ Kale's We Taken Over as his best of 2007, with Do Is What I Got, a freestyle over the beat of Jay-Z's Show Me What You Got from Dot Route 3. 007 2010, The Carter 3, We Are Young Money, and Rebirth Lil Wayne performing in concert at Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Canada, January 2009 and 2007, Carter stated that he would reunite with Hot Boys, with plans to release an album after Berg's solo album To Hood To Be Hollywood was completed. The Carter 3 was released on June 10, 2008, with first week sales of over 1 million copies, the first to do so since 50 Cent's The Massacre 2005. Carter also appeared on R&B singles Girls Around the World by Lloyd, Love in This Club, Part 2 by Usher, Official Girl by Cassie, I'm So Paid by Aiken, Turning Me On by Carrie Hilson, and Can't Believe It by T-Pain. Rap singles My Life by The Game, Shorty Say by David Banner, Swag Like Us by T.I., Cutty Buddy by Mike Jones, All My Life in the Ghetto by J-Rock and the remix to Certified by Glasses Malone, and pop single Let It Rock by new cash money artist Kevin Rudolph. In 2008, Carter performed at the Voodoo Experience in October in New Orleans, which was described by Jonathan Cohen of Billboard as his biggest hometown headlining set of his career. Following the Carter 3's achievement of selling over 3 million copies, Becoming 2008's best-selling record, Carter re-signed with Cash Money Records for a multi-album deal. 
On January 6, 2009, Carter was a guest debater against Skip Bayless on the first and ten segment of ESPN First Take. On December 23, 2009, Carter released a collaboration album with Young Money, We Are Young Money, with its lead single being Every Girl to support its release and that of We Are Young Money, Carter was featured on the cover of Rolling Stone 8 2010 to 2013, I Am Not a Human Being series and the Carter 4 in an interview on MTV's Mixed App Monday, Carter asserted the possibility of the Carter 4. Originally thought to be an app, Carter released his 10th album, I Am Not a Human Being, on his 28th birthday, September 27, 2010. On March 8, 2011, Carter released another song, We Back Soon, produced by Street Runner, though it was not included on the official track listing of the Carter 4. In July 2011, Carter confirmed in an interview with MTV that the Carter 4 was finished, and was released on August 29, 2011. In October 2011, it was reported that Carter was working on sequels to both I Am Not a Human Being and Rebirth. 2014 to 2019, Free Weezy album and the Carter v. Wayne performing in 2015. On February 10, 2014, Drake tweeted, Carter v. On October 18, 2013, Cash Money Records Vice President of Promotion Mel Smith, tweeted, Happy Friday! New YMCMB music coming soon! Carter 5. On December 4, 2014, just five days before the album was due to be released again, Carter issued a statement saying the album would not be released on its expected release date, due to his displeasure with Cash Money Records label boss Birdman, refusing to release the album although it had been completed. Carter also expressed his feelings by stating he felt both he and his creativity were being held prisoner. On January 20, 2015, Carter self-released Sorry for the Way 2, a sequel to his 2011 mixed app, to compensate for the continued delay of the Carter v. Carter and Birdman supposedly reconciled after being seen at Drake's Sny Party, at Miami's Club Live, and in studio. In September 2016, Carter's song No Mercy debuted as the theme song for Skip and Shannon, undisputed sports talk on FS1. Carter is a frequent guest on the program The Carter V was finally released on September 27, 2018, debuting at number 1 on the US Billboard 200 with 480,000 album equivalent units, including 140,000 pure album sales. 2020 present, funeral, Young Money Radio and re-releases while Carter was working on The Carter V, it was announced that his next album would be titled Funeral. On April 24, 2020, Lil Wayne along with Dash Radio, launched his own radio show, Young Money Radio, on Apple Music. Personal Life Relationships and Children Carter has four children. His first child, daughter Regini, was born November 29, 1998 when he was 16, to his high school sweetheart Toya Johnson. They later married on Valentine's Day 2004 and divorced in 2006. Internet rumors started circulating in August 2008 that Carter's daughter had died in a car crash, which however he quickly cleared up as false saying, please allow me to dispel any rumors or speculations and report that my daughter is alive, healthy and surrounded by family who cares and loves her dearly. The rumors are completely false and unfounded. Neither Regini nor any other member of my family has been involved in any car accident. His second child, Dwayne Tree, was born on October 22, 2008, at the Christ Hospital in Cincinnati, to radio broadcaster Sarah Vivan. His third child, Cameron, was born to actress Lauren London on September 9, 2009. His fourth child, Neil, was born on November 30, 2009, to singer Nevaeh. Trina also became pregnant with Carter's child, but later suffered a miscarriage. In July 2014, it was rumored that Carter was dating singer Christina Million whom he attended the ESPY Awards with. They later confirmed their relationship in mid-2015 after which they received criticism from their interconnected exes, singer Nevaeh and songwriter The Dream. They split at the end of 2015 after collaborating on various singles, videos, and concert dates. Wayne was engaged to plus-size model Leticia Thomas, but called off the engagement in May 2020. In June 2020, it was announced that Wayne had started dating Denise B. 
Another plus-size model. In November 2020, they reportedly broke up over Wayne's endorsement of Donald Trump. Shortly after, it was reported that the couple had reconciled. Health issues. On October 25, 2012, Carter's private jet, bound for Los Angeles, made an emergency landing in Texas due to an in-flight medical episode. Lil Wayne was transferred to a local hospital upon arrival. TMZ and other media sources said that Carter had suffered a seizure aboard the plane. His publicist denied this, saying that he was in fact treated for a severe migraine and dehydration. The following day, while flying from Texas to Los Angeles, Carter's private jet was reportedly again forced to make an emergency landing, this time in Louisiana, after he suffered a second seizure and required further hospitalization. His representative said that the reports of Carter's condition had been exaggerated, and that he was wrestling at his Louisiana home. In a November 2012 interview with MTV, Carter revealed that he was taking seizure medication, on doctor's orders, due to the aforementioned incidents. On March 14, 2013, TMZ reported that Carter had been treated at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on the evening of March 12, after suffering seizures while on a music video set with Young Money rapper Nicki Minaj. He was reportedly released in the early hours of March 13. On March 15, TMZ published a second story, claiming that hours after his release on March 13, Carter was found unconscious after experiencing further seizures, and was brought back to Cedars Sinai, where he was admitted to the intensive care unit in critical condition. The article alleged the latest seizures were found to be linked to high amounts of codeine in Carter's system, possibly due to binging on purple drank after his initial hospital release. Multiple celebrities, including Drake and Birdman, were photographed on March 15 and 16 visiting Carter at Cedars Sinai. Several members of Young Money Entertainment, including President Mac Main, criticized media reports on Carter's hospitalization, particularly those of TMZ, alleging that they exaggerated the severity of his condition and falsely implied that he was on his deathbed, such as by saying that he was in a medically induced coma, triggering what the Washington Post called the most overheated celebrity death watch in recent years. In separate interviews on March 18, Mac Main and Birdman disputed TMZ's reports, and stated that in fact there were not multiple seizures or multiple hospital visits. They explained that after Carter began seizing on the way to the music video shoot on March 12, an ambulance was called and he was transported to the hospital, where he was admitted and remained continuously thereafter. They also refuted the claims that Carter's seizures are drug-induced, saying that they are an ongoing problem for which doctors have been unable to identify a cause. Carter was released from the hospital late on March 18, following a six-day stay. Lil Wayne addressed his condition via a vlog, on March 21 saying he was more than good. Carter had two seizures in June 2016, during a cross-country flight from Wisconsin to California, and landed in Omaha, Nebraska. His plane was only two minutes in air when the second seizure occurred and was forced to land in Omaha once again. Less than a month later, he had another seizure, supposedly due to not taking his epilepsy medication. Carter cancelled a Las Vegas show on September 3, 2017, having had a seizure in a Chicago hospital earlier that day, where he was brought after being found unconscious in a hotel room.